All right, then, my friends. So we have seen how to use these attributes, HX Post and also HX Get, to make those different network requests. We've also seen how we can take the response HTML and do different things with it, like specify a target where it should go in the DOM, what the swap strategy is, all that kind of stuff. Now I want to show you how we can react to events using our own JavaScript as well. So, for example, click events on buttons. So we can do this very easily in HTMX. All we have to do is use an attribute on whatever element we want to attach an event to, like this button, for example, in the form, by saying HX and then on. So this we will use every time. And then we say a colon and then the type of event we want to react to. Now, we have all the regular kind of browser events like click, double click, mouse over, mouse enter, all that kind of stuff. But we also have special events, special HTMX events, which are HTMX specific. And we'll look at those later on. For now, let's do a simple click event. And we do that by saying HX on, then a colon, then click the name of the event. And we set that equal to something. And inside this string now, we just write regular JavaScript. So I could say console.log, and we want to log something to the console. Now, this is going to have to be single quotes in here because we already have double quotes for this attribute value. So I will just say new book added, for example. And then also, when we use HX on to react to an event, we automatically get access to an event object called events. So I'm going to log that to the console as well. All right then, so that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna save this and try it out in the browser. All right, so let's just add any old book over here. Um, when we add this book, yeah, we'll see over here, but also in the console, we should see that message. So let's try adding this book. Awesome, we see it there. And we also see this message, new book added, and we get this event object as well. Now notice, we got all the regular properties on the event, but we also get other properties added by HTMX as well, okay? So we can see things like the client X and client Y, where in the browser this event occurred, whether the control key was pressed, all that kind of regular stuff. So you can use that in the code as well if you wish. Now, I also mentioned before that we can use some additional HTMX events as well as the standard browser events. And those HTMX events are events that are typically triggered by the HTMX library, like before a request gets sent or after a request completes or after content gets swapped or before it gets swapped and so forth. So we're going to use one of these now to add a little bit of functionality into this application. So what I'd like to do is clear the form fields after we add a new book and after the request is complete, essentially. And that means when we get a response to the request from the server. And the HTMX event that we'll be using to do that is called after request. So much like when we handled a regular browser event, we use the HX on attribute to handle an HTMX event too. And then we add the event name. Now, when we use special HTMX events, all the event names are prefixed by HTMX and then a colon. And then after that, we say the event name. In our case, that's after hyphen request. And then we set this equal to whatever JavaScript we want to run when this event occurs. Also, a shortcut to this HTMX prefix for HTMX events is that we can just use a double colon instead of a single one. And this also signifies we're using a special HTMX event and not a regular browser one. Anyway, now let's write some JavaScript to clear the form. And we can do that by saying documents dot query selector. And we want to select the form. And then on that, we could use the reset method and invoke it. So once we've done that, let's try this out in the browser. All right, so now let's see if this works. I'm going to enter in any old rubbish into this form and submit it. And hopefully we'll see when we get a response that the form clears. Awesome. So that's how to handle regular events and also special HTMX events too. Now, if you want to see a list of all the HTMX events available, you can check out those on the docs and there's a good explanation of each one as well. Right then, so next up, we're going to see how to make delete requests to delete books from the list.